Hello, my name is Matthew Krupsek. I am a computer scientist from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm the developer of some free and open source software called Open Athena, which allows consumer and professional drones to spot precise geodetic locations. So the context for this software is that um, consumer rotary wing drones, UAS, whatever you want to call them, as well as professional, have very good sensors that are similar to that of a smartphone um, that are able to tell where the drone is, but if it's looking at something on the ground, it has a hard time of understanding where that actually is. Um, so with this Open Athena software, I've developed a novel technique where um, using the sensor data from a drone is combined with a digital elevation model, which stores the height of terrain for a portion of the globe, um, and it combines these two and traces out a line until it intersects, and that locates precisely the spot on the ground that a drone is looking at. Um, this te technique is very accurate, um, owing largely to the quality of the digital elevation model data set this technique uses, um, which comes from something called the Shuttle Radar Topography Mission, or SRTM for short. Um, and this covers most of the globe at a resolution of 30 meters between data points um, and between at least 10 to 16 meters of vertical accuracy for each data point. Um, so the content, um, some uses for the software include uh, many for commercial use, including um, civic surveying, engineering, um, that type of stuff, as well as uh, drone search and rescue. Um, which has become increasingly prevalent, as well as wildfire detection and management and law enforcement. Um, for military use, um, this project may be very useful for um, the process of forward artillery observation for indirect fire. Um, this uh, is where um, a forward observer will um, observe a point and try to direct uh, artillery or mortars or other kind of stuff like that onto a target. And so the hope with Open Athena is that um, this technique will make that process more accurate and less error prone, as well as allowing combined arms armies um, to reduce the, um, the destructiveness of the munitions they employ. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's the... 101 for Open Athena. This is the concept diagram, which shows um, sensor data comes from the drone's GPS barometer um, to get latitude, longitude, and altitude, as well as the angle of depression and heading of the camera. And then from there, it performs a search along that line using a digital elevation model. For example, uh, this is a render of the digital elevation data of the area around uh, Rome, Italy. Um, and so it just looks at those values and finds the first point of intersection. And um, that's pretty precisely the target to which it's aiming at. Um, so for today's example, I'm going to be showing off um, the 0 0.8 pre-alpha uh, for the Android version of this app. There is a version as well written in Python that runs on uh, Mac, PC, and Linux. Um, and the example image I'm going to be using is uh, DJI 0419. Uh, this is available in the source code as well for both the Android um, and the uh, Open Athena app. Um, and it's just of a drone flying in a residential area with the exact center of the image um, being located in a public park. So like right about here where my mouse cursor is. Um, yeah. So today I'm showing off the Android port I've been working on that's all in Java. Um, and I'm going to show a little bit of its operation and then show the results that we get from using it. Um, so first up, this is the main screen. Um, this works in, um, in both portrait and landscape mode as well. Um, and uh, to start out, we need, can load a digital elevation model. Um, you can generate this for a customized area um, on your computer, and I can show how to do that in a different video. Um, but so we just click the picture of the mountain, that button to start, 
and then it brings us into our file select screen for Android. Um, and then we can select our uh, digital elevation model file, store it as a geotiff ending in .tif. Um, and because Android is weird, um, it can't do a thumbnail preview for any geotiff file. It thinks it's like some kind of image, but it can't load it. Um, but for Open Athena, it can read it plenty fine. Um, and after we select that geotiff file and load it, we'll see some output from the uh, screen saying geotiff loaded. Uh, it'll tell us the size of the file, how many pixels it is uh, wide and tall. And it'll also show us the coverage area um, as geodetic latitude and longitude as a range. Um, and so once we've loaded a DEM for the area that we care about, we can then click on this picture button and that will allow us to select a image for which to analyze the metadata for and calculate a target location. So I'm going to select um, DJI 0419 that I've already downloaded. And immediately the system tells us that we selected an image. And now I just hit this button of the little abacus, these little doodads for calculate. So I tell it to calculate. And boom, it performs a raycast from the drone's location against that digital elevation model and finds the precise point that the camera is looking at in the center of the picture frame. Um, and this is some debug output, which shows some of the sensor data that it's using um, from that image that it extracted from the metadata. Um, and yeah, and so if I just open this location up in Google Maps, I can just click right there on um, that link, which is for a NATO military grid ref that defines a one meter square area on the globe. Um, and we can see if I enable satellite view that it's pretty precisely uh, the location that was in the exact center of the picture frame. Um, I have tested this on many other uh, drones, many other places, and uh, results are usually pretty good like this. Um, so I should say for the current version, V0.8, um, it only supports uh, metadata from pictures taken by DJI drones. Um, but very soon this will be expanded to uh, Parrot, Autel, and Skydio, uh, just like the main Open Athena project. Um, so yeah, I hope that's interesting. If you're interested in any of this, um, the GitHub page for this project is um, available at uh, github.com slash mkrupsec3. Pull that up real quick. And um, at this page, there will be um, a lot more documentation for how Open Athena works and how to start using it. Um, so yeah, I hope this is helpful, and um, I'm really happy that I get to share um, this Android app today. Thank you for watching.